In this video, I will show you how you can calculate the price of a bond. We'll make several crucial assumptions before we start. The first assumption we make is we have a market interest rate and we can invest and will invest all the money that we receive at that market interest rate. Another assumption we make is the bond we look at is a bond that pays interest every year. So the coupon is an annual coupon and this coupon, the first coupon is paid exactly one year from now. If we changed any of these assumptions, we would take all these differences into account and we will get slightly different results. So let's start with a simple example and we take a two-year bond with a principal of $1,000. So you borrow $1,000 and a coupon rate of 5%. So we have a two-year bond for $1,000 with a 5% coupon. To find the value of this bond, we need to first find the cash flow of this bond. So the cash flow means what's the amount of money I get from having this bond. So first I buy this bond and then after a year I will receive my first coupon payment or interest payment. So we have after year one I receive the interest on this bond which is 5%. So 5% of $1,000 is $50. Next I wait a year and at the end of year two, I will receive interest again. So another $50. But in addition to the $50, since this is a two-year bond, I will also be paid the $1,000 back. So I end up with $1,050. And with that, all payments are done. Next, I need to calculate what is the present value of these payments. To be able to calculate that, I need to know a market interest rate. For a start, let's assume this market interest rate is 5%, just like the coupon. So we have an interest rate in the market of 5%. Now we can calculate the present value of this. The present value is defined as the cash flow payment or future value that at some point in the future I receive. So after two years, I receive $1,050 in the future. So that's future value over one plus the interest rate raised to the power of N, where N is the number of years in the future. So this payment is in one year's time, so I raise it to the power of one. And this payment is in two years' time, so I raise it to the power of two. The interest here, rate here is just the market interest rate. So let's do the math. So the present value of the first cash flow will be 50, which is the future value, over 1 plus the interest rate. The interest rate is 5%, so 1.05 to the power of 1. For the second year, it will be 1050 over 1.05 to the power of 2, because it's in two years' time. Now, how do I get the price of the bond from this? Well, I simply add up all these present values and that will give me the price of the bond. So, I add the present value of the first coupon payment to the present value of the next coupon payment together with the principal, and I get the value of this bond. Now, in this case, the interest rate is 5%. Since this market interest rate of 5% is equal to the coupon interest rate of 5%, I will get 1,000 if I calculate this. So, we found if I want to buy 
5% uh, bond with $1,000 principal at a current market interest rate of 5%, the price of this bond will be $1,000. Now, how is that difference if the interest rate was different? So let's assume the interest rate was 10%. So now we need to change all the numbers here to match it to 10%. So we had 1 plus the interest rate here. Now the interest rate is 10%, so I get 1.1 to the power of 1, and I get... 1.1 to the power of 2 here because it's again only in two years. And I can use a calculator to figure out what this number is and I will get $913 approximately. So I can see that if the market interest rate is higher than the coupon rate of the bond, the price of the bond will be lower than the principal of this bond. The reverse will be true if the interest rate is lower than the coupon payment. Now why is that? Well, think of the alternative. As I said in the beginning, the alternative is to put it into a bank account at the market interest rate, which here is 10%. If I put $1,000 in my bank account and I earn 10%, I have $1,100 in my bank account after one year. If I buy this bond after one year, I only got 5% interest. That's much lower than 10% I get in the bank account. So buying this bond, which gives me only a lower interest rate, must cost less than the bank account for $1,000. Thank you for watching.